and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, I've been asked a bunch, hey, you got that big brow tine buck on video? Um, the one that you use in the walnut spray video? I said, well, I got the recovery on video um, because that was back, you know, four or five, six years ago or five years ago, I think now. And uh, I didn't have the right camera gear and the right equipment to film real well, but I was doing the best I could with what I could afford. Um, but that was my fault this time. It wasn't the equipment's fault like some other videos I had some equipment failure. Um, but this was actually my fault. I was so excited. I double punched the record button. Um, so, hey, I hope you enjoy this recovery. I've had a lot of people ask about it, and it's pretty cool. I got the recovery on video, and it's the biggest brow time buck I've ever killed. And the hunt and the story of this was cool because it was two years I'd hunted this big buck. Um, I had two different encounters with him the year before that. One time it was snowing, the snow was blowing sideways, and this buck comes in. I mean, yeah, unbelievable. So you want to check it out. It's pretty cool, but I didn't get him that year. Um, I seen him one other time and I couldn't get a shot, but this time I did get him. Um, unfortunately, I screwed up, but I do have the recovery on video and it's pretty cool. And you'll see him walking in the snow the year before that when I didn't get a shot. So here we go. Here he is, late January in Ohio. I was bow hunting. You know, I knew he was in there. I had pictures of him multiple times, but I knew the only chance I probably had of seeing him at daylight was when it was going to be brutal cold. And it was going to be, I think, high that day was like 17 degrees, which was really cold for us. And for that time of year, and I was like, I was like, man, if I'm going to see him, it's going to be that day. So I climbed in that stand that day and I sat there probably, I was there maybe four hours before I even seen him. But he come walking out of this, I seen him from a distance coming through the timber and I watched him come up through the brush and the snow is blowing sideways and I mean, it was something to see, but unfortunately I didn't get him that year, but I did end up killing him. You'll see, cause I got the recovery on video the following year. So check this out. Yep, was I disappointed? Yeah. He come in, every deer that day walked by me within 15, 20 yards, but him. Two times in a row, he knew something wasn't right. He turned and left. That's why I started using the walnut spray. So if you haven't heard about the walnut spray video, you definitely want to check it out. But he's the one that started it all because I was like, man, I cannot beat this deer. My scent control was like perfect with every deer but that deer. He knew something was wrong every time. So then I started using the walnut spray. Well, here we go. I'll show you the recovery. Oh, a bunch of deer just took off running. I'm done here right now, checking my arrow. Um, I just shot a giant. Um, I mean, I'm... I'm so excited right now. Like, I'm sorry, my hand's shaking, I could tell. Um, it's just hard for me to quit shaking, but uh, I mean, it's it's a buck I've been hunting. I hunted him last year too, and he is a monster. He is just a, just a dream buck. I mean, so I'm down here now, I'm getting about 30 minutes. I heard him go down. I've got a doe actually right to my right right now looking at me. Um, it's been a phenomenal morning, but well, I'm, I'm gonna go track the blood trail here 
And, uh, but I know where he went down, but we're going to track it anyway. It's never enough. You can see here is blood. I mean, there's blood all over the place. All the way down through here. Sound like he should be laying literally right here in this dip because I mean, as soon as I shot him, he didn't. I mean, it's seconds I heard him crash. Looks like I hit him. Well, not sure where I hit him, but it looked like I hit him. I mean, perfect right behind his shoulder. He's quartering away from me just a little bit. Looks like I hit him right in the, sh the, right in the heart. So I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, there's blood. Phenomenal blood trail. I'll show you here. Look at that. I mean, it's everywhere you look, there's blood. I mean, it's just all the way down through here. You can see the blood from you know, clear down through there. You can see the blood. Wow. But, you know, I must have hit him in the heart like I thought. Because look at that. I mean, it's just. You can see the leaves all the way down through there. Man, I'm so excited. Look at that. There's blood. I mean, everywhere. He should be right here. I don't know, shot this little, this little road out here. I had a tree stand on last year. Me and my twins, Luke and Will, hung it. Sound like he crashed somewhere right there by it. There's blood on trees and everything. Look at that. Wow. That blood, I mean, spraying everywhere. It's almost like it's smelling almost. I guess it's all the blood I'm smelling or something, but oh, it's crazy. I mean, it's phenomenal blood trail. He should be not much farther. Sound like he crashed in a slow dip or not shot this log road. All right, I got him. I found him. You can see this. I guess the giant of it. I very excited. Two years. Two years in this deer. Alright, get around here. Oh, my lands. Look at that deer. Oh, my lands. What a toad. Holy crap. Look at that thing. Oh my. Oh my gosh. The big brows on that thing. Whew, I need a toad. Oh my gosh. That is a giant. <laughs> I gotta get him out of these weeds so I can move around it. I just killed the buck that I've waited all year to hunt. I just, I have just short words. He's a giant. He's got everything I've dreamed of in a deer. He's got big mass, giant brows. I mean, look at these brows. I mean, just a toad mass all around. I mean, he is just a monster. I mean, you could look at that. I mean, I dreamed about this deer. Just couldn't wait to find this deer. I mean, I didn't know if I'd ever see him, but I knew in the rut, I had pictures of him a lot, so I knew in the rut, this is my chance if I'm gonna see him, and, and today it happened, so I'm excited. Whew. Thank you, Lord Jesus, I tell you what, it is what a, what a great day to kill something like this. He's a toad. I mean, a monster. Whew, that's the big old brows and mass. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, I love it. 
Oh, wait, I was so excited. <clears throat> I got to tell you, who about the hunt there? I had pictures of this deer um, for two years. I hunted him last year, and I never got an opportunity. And this year, I was just like, I was like, man, you know, that's my target buck. This is the buck I came here for. This is the buck I waited all year, you know, trying to get, you know, just, you know, I, I waited and waited and waited. I didn't, I didn't want to make sure the temperatures was right. I wanted to make sure the wind was right. I wanted to make sure, you know, everything I could do. I, mean, I, I bought one of them cell cameras that's into my phone so I could, you know, keep track about what times he's coming in. I don't want to come here and bump him out. I mean, I put in so much work for this deer. Um, I wish I could have got more footage of him, you know, when I shot him. Unfortunately, I didn't. Um, I had a little camera episode there, so, uh, um, oh well. But I got to recover on, on film, and, you know, this is just one of the biggest bucks I've killed. It's just a giant. Um, I'm just tickled to death, all excited, and, and very, very, very thankful. I mean, it just, you know, the better do this, be healthy enough to do it, and uh, thank God. So, uh, I'm just short with words, and then that don't happen very often, but. I've been hunting this deer for a while, and uh, just to kill it is just unbelievable. I mean, what a just a beautiful animal. I mean, just beautiful. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs>